Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 185. Let's go ahead and get started. We have no time to lose. I'll help you escape. Before Viscount Latishu drags you down with him. He's right. But can I really trust him? Even Duke Ergi betrayed me. But if I get lucky and manage to escape, I still don't have the money to buy a new identity or settle in a new place. But what really makes me hesitant is that if I take this risk and fail, <laughs> I might meet a miserable end like Queen Krista. Your Majesty. <laughs> His Majesty wants to see you. The Remarried Empress, episode 185. I just woke up and my voice sounds so deep and I'm just like, I love it. <laughs> Especially when you're reading. Not long after the delegation delivered the letter, another unfortunate incident has occurred. I regret to inform you that Her Majesty has issued an official complaint. As if handling this mess with Duke Erg wasn't bad enough. He had to go and do this? How much further does she want us to disgrace our empire? Your Majesty, Her Majesty has arrived. Send her in. I really want to know. What's inside that pretty little head of hers? <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully the mic muffled that. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I hear the trial will be held soon. What will happen to me now? What do you plan to do with me? That all depends on what you've done. Your Majesty knew I was a runaway slave and still chose to take me in. I'll explain everything, Your Majesty. If there's some misunderstanding, I'll explain. Misunderstanding? Uh, what misunderstanding? Was I misunderstanding things when I discovered my daughter isn't really mine? Was the promissory note that Duke Ergi present to me, presented to me a misunderstanding? Or... The harbor transfer document you signed for him. <laughs> or, perhaps it's a misunderstanding that you spread the rumor. That Navier and I divorced because of her infertility. I ain't never done that! Well, I don't know how she's gonna get out of this one. The Western Empire made a formal request for an apology. But you need to not apologize. Because you won't be representing the Eastern Empire anymore. Uh, you said you felt sorry for me. You said you'd protect me. Sure. I, I, I didn't claim that she was infertile. I only mentioned there were rumors saying that she was. Even you said that you might be infertile. You're right. I made a mistake when I said that and failed to keep a tight lid on things. I'm going to take responsibility for what I've done. So you need to do the same. Your Majesty. <laughs> have, have mercy. Please have mercy. Your Majesty. Viscount Latishu and his son's trial will be held tomorrow, as will Viscount Ishka and his wife's. You may attend if you wish. <laughs> the next day at court. Latishu Rimwell. 
You conspired with your daughter-in-law, Rasha Ishka, to deceive the imperial family and the nation in order to make your son, Alan Rimwell's daughter, a princess. You periodically extorted money and valuables from the impress, Rashta, in exchange for keeping this secret. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Yes. I schemed with my son and his wife so that I could make my grandchild a member of the Imperial family. What? Everything he said was a lie except for him extorting money from me. He refused to take me in as a daughter-in-law and handed me a dead baby. Now he turns around and does this. You dastardly bastard! <gasps> what? Hang him at once! What about the Empress? The Empress should stand trial too. Huh? Order! Order! Next, Viscount Ishka and his wife will be questioned. Marsha and Gil. Wait, Gilim? Gilimped Ishka. Both of you denied ever receiving an order from the Empress to murder Miss Evely while she was traveling to the Western Empire. Do you still deny those charges? No. Did you say no? They're changing their statement. They say a child takes after their parents. Seeing you and Rashta, I'll say that's true. Even though you've lived apart, you're still so alike. I bet your second child is just as awful as the two of you. I'm not going to be her parent. Instead, revealing the truth and hurting her even more. We need to get rid of Rashta so that she can never harm Evely again. When the talented Miss Evely got a job in the palace, Her Majesty believed His Majesty no longer loved her. Everything we did was instigated by Empress Rashta. Why are you changing your statement now? We can no longer stand Her Majesty watching from the sidelines while we suffer so much for someone who isn't even our real daughter. Huh? Not their real daughter? <gasps> Does that mean Empress Russia isn't actually the daughter of Viscount Ishtika and his wife? What? We needed money to find our real, da real daughter, and Empress Russia needed noble parents to become the Empress. We conspired with her and deceived the Emperor. Duke Ergi was the one who brought them here. Wait, Duke Ergi was the one who brought them here. His Majesty looked the other way even though he knew everything. Then why are they doing this? Is this why you said I could attend? Did you want me to see all of this, Your Majesty? Now that all charges have been proved, I will deliver the verdict. Lutetia Rimwell is sentenced to death. Alan Rimwell is sentenced to death. Uh, my parents, they... They only left you with their fortune. They didn't want to reveal their names because they lived shameful lives. That this isn't fair. I finally found them, but I, I, I can't even know their names. Your parents loved you their whole lives. They didn't abandon you. An accident separated you, and they looked for you their entire lives. They hope you believe that, if nothing else. They say they couldn't protect you when they were alive, but they swear to protect you after they're dead. Marsha Ishka is sentenced to death. Gilimp, Gilimp Ishka is sentenced to death. That is so sad. Now, like, that's so sad. Emily have been looking for her parents her whole existence i don't know when she got separated i'm assuming she was like a toddler or a kid and she now maybe one day someone's gonna re reveal that oh yeah your parents was actually these two people 
and she's probably gonna be like okay gonna visit their gravestone and be like i forgive you but that's so sad and like you know i really did not like the ishkas at all but once they found out the truth and they own up to it they felt a lot of shame for what they did they almost killed their actual daughter uh and for of course loteshu rimwell he had it coming but i felt really bad for his son like his son didn't deserve that because now guess what the two kids Ian and Gl Glorium is going to be parentless. Like, Rash is not going to be around either, I'm assume. And she's not going to, like, come and find them one day. Like, these kids, their names are so infamous now that everyone's going to know who they are and going to spit on them, you know? Like, who knows? I don't know. Unless uh, Suvashu adopts them or something. But, oh, that's so sad oh that's like it pulls it's like it's i love the writing like it made me hate the character so much but at the very end they were able to pull on my heartstrings where i feel so bad for them and so sad like and like just thinking about all the how all this will all like trace like how it all affects every little thing around them like it's not just them dying and gone that's it poof but it also affects the children the, the, the empire the people just oh love i love the remarried empress like the people who wrote this storyline did such a great job i love the art wow Ugh. anyways if you guys enjoy the way i read the way i read this feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments thank you so much you guys for supporting me I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!